Hi there, my name is Maya and welcome to U.S. History 3, The Revolutionary War and the Declaration of Independence. In this video, you'll learn about how the American colonists decided to revolt against the British and the document that first founded the United States of America. As the colonists continued to settle into their new homes and build families and businesses, they began to find that their needs and wants were quite different from those of the British back home. Throughout the late 1600s and the 1700s, the British passed new laws preventing the colonists from controlling where their products were shipped, as well as what products were shipped in from Europe. They also decided to prevent westward expansion, forbidding the colonists from exploring new land and growing past a certain point. However, the colonists were not too happy with any of these developments, and tensions began to build. In 1764, the British Prime Minister decided the Americans were not paying enough taxes to help support the British Army in their endeavors across the world. He passed several new laws imposing taxes on sugar and, more importantly, newspapers, cards, and even legal documents. This meant that these everyday goods could no longer be bought in America for their previous low price. Instead, every American was forced to pay more for these simple items. But most importantly, these taxes did not feel fair to the colonists because no one from America was currently represented in the British Parliament, where every legal decision was made for them. The Americans were furious. Their motto became, no taxation without representation. They refused to purchase any British goods and clashed violently with the British soldiers who came to America. One of the colonists' most famous acts of rebellion was the Boston Tea Party in 1773, when they boarded ships full of British tea being imported and tossed it all into the sea. Their message was clear. They would not back down until they saw change. In 1774, the Continental Congress was formed, a political group of Americans seeking to change the laws that restricted the colonies. Though they tried to put forth several compromises to the British, none were accepted and negotiations fell to violence. In 1775, British troops tried to take Massachusetts under control as it was considered a place of rebellion. However, the Americans rose up against them, fighting back with surprising force. The Congress had had enough. They formed an official American army with George Washington as commander. The American Revolution had begun. With every colony now in declared rebellion, the fighting continued to escalate. Meanwhile, the Congress formed a committee to draft the Declaration of Independence, a document that would officially free America from British control. The Declaration of Independence listed the many faults and flaws of the British system and the ways America had suffered underneath their rule. It also set forth goals for a better America in the future. One line particularly stands out. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Declaration was authored by Thomas Jefferson and was signed and adopted on July 4, 1776. To this day, July 4th is an American holiday to celebrate this incredible freedom with fireworks, flags, and fun parties. Here's a fun fact. That same year, a woman named Betsy Ross sewed the first American flag, 
with alternating red and white stripes as well as 13 stars in the blue corner. These stars represented the 13 colonies of the time. Throughout the fall of 1776, the war did not look good for the Americans. George Washington was forced to retreat from the battles in Long Island and New York, and the British remained confident in their ability to win due to size and experience in wars. However, their ships of supplies and soldiers took many weeks to arrive, and the Americans were far fiercer than they had anticipated. Washington won battles in Trenton and Princeton, New Jersey, and surrounded British troops in Saratoga, New York. As the war continued, the Americans knew they couldn't win against a powerful enemy like the British without a little bit of help. They convinced the French, as well as the Spanish, to declare war on Britain, making it nearly impossible for the British to supply enough resources to their troops in America. The war finally began to end in 1781, when the British were forced to surrender in the battle at Yorktown, Virginia. Just two years later, the Treaty of Paris was created and signed by the Continental Congress as well as by representatives of King George III. It was official. The United States of America was free and had the Declaration of Independence to prove it. If you want to learn more about how the U.S. created their own government and established new laws, check out U.S. History 4, the Constitution and its Amendments. Meanwhile, you can practice what you learned on our fun online games and quizzes. Thank you for watching, and until next time, always be clever. Hey, hey.